Welcome to The Author's Journey with number one international best-selling author and in-demand publisher, Rebecca Hall Greider. Today, we'll showcase the works of an amazing best-selling author, find out the story behind their book, and explore ways to bring your message powerfully forward. Now, here's your host, Rebecca Hall Greider. Welcome, everyone. I hope that you're having an amazing day. Welcome to The Author's Journey, where we talk with amazing and successful best-selling authors who have not only brought their book forward, but done so in such a way that it was received powerfully as a best-selling book. So they're great insights, great experts that we can discover and learn from. So I'm really excited to have you leaning into the conversation we're going to have today. I know you'll like our guest. You'll love his heart, his spirit, the journey that he's gone on, and what's really led him to bringing his story forward, his book forward. So welcome, everybody. Just thrilled to have you joining us today. And I wanted to take a moment to help you focus. So if we can take a breath in through the nose, out through the mouth, like through a straw, just taking a moment to slow down and come together. Part of the reason I love to do that, so keep taking those beautiful breaths, is that we are so busy. We are pulled so many directions that we can miss information and insights that are really important for us to hear and to discover and to learn because we're too busy. We're multitasking. We're present, kind of. (laughs) So I want to invite you to be really present. And breath is a great way to become more present, to release. As we breathe in, bring in oxygen that supports, creates space and room and nourishes us and release what no longer does, creating space and room for us to receive. Because I know there is something here for you by the very nature of you tuning in. And I want you to receive everything that is supportive of you. I also encourage you as you're becoming present to have a notepad or a piece of paper and a pen nearby so that you can capture those insights as they come in and write them down. It's so easy to hear them in the moment and then forget, get distracted. (laughs) Really choose to be present, capture those insights as they come in so that you can hear and implement what will serve. And sometimes It's just a knowing. Sometimes it's a different way to look at things. Discovering something you didn't know. Isn't that wonderful? That helps us grow. So be listening for those things, those insights that will support you. That idea of, wow, I I didn't know that's what it was like to bring a book forward. Or that's amazing that that happened. Or that inspires me too. Listen for those kinds of things. I promise they're here and they'll support and serve you. Beautiful. So with that, I'm excited to introduce our amazing guest, Clayne Wyman. He is a successful, has a successful career in the mortgage broker business, and he works for one of the top mortgage companies in Utah. He's also a speaker and international bestselling author and mentor and founder of Vasper, a platform where he shares deep spiritual insights and mentorship. He is passionate about helping you discover how you are truly and deeply loved far more than you may realize. Please lean in and warmly welcome the powerful, dynamic, and heart-centered, Clean Wyman to the show. Welcome! (laughs) Oh, Rebecca, you are too generous. (laughs) Thank you for having me. I really appreciate it. Oh, you are so welcome. Absolutely thrilled to have you joining us. Brings a smile to my face, so I'm excited to have you here. And I know we've waited a while to have this conversation that was very deliberate about when your book was released and when you leaned into sharing some of that journey with us. And I wanted to take a moment and have you share a little bit about why this works matter to, matters so much to you and why the timing of this conversation um, was so important too. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, mm-hmm. so I released my book, and uh, one week after releasing the book, I left to the Amazon to go work with indigenous uh, 
shamans in the Amazon. I uh, worked with the Shipibo tribe. Uh, I, you know, as I was bringing my book forward, I got, you know, I, I got diagnosed with that big C that nobody wishes to get. <laughs> and so I left to the Amazon for three months, and I said, uh, I said, Rebecca, we got to bring this book forward. <laughs> we got to get it out. And so uh, we brought it forward at international best international bestseller. And I said, Rebecca, I'll be in touch. We'll do our interviews when I get back. And so <laughs> here we are. Mm-hmm. Oh, well, thank you. Thank you for sharing that. And I know there's a lot of discussion in do we, do we launch before? Do we launch after? And I love how you really leaned into honoring your calling and when it was important to get this information out and um, to, to launch it a week before your trip. <laughs> launching just before your trip, making that decision to do so. And what I think is so amazing about that is is the conviction, the trust, the knowing that you had as you're navigating those waters and choosing to bring your book forward um, no matter what, even with this mm-hmm. challenge, getting the big C, as, as you say, and um, cancer and how to make choices around that. And I love your courage and your conviction to bring your book forward, no matter what, that you knew it needed to come forward. And you trusted that the launch, all the other pieces would fall into place as you took that time in the Amazon. And then when you came back, coming back, and that's when we could do the interviews and some of the other media pieces. And it's it's come together beautifully. So I just love your trust in that. I love your faith. I love your commitment to bringing your message forward no matter what and trusting all the pieces will fall into place, even if your path might be a little bit different than what you had envisioned when you started the book. So anything you would add to that? Yeah, you really, uh, you, you really hit the head on the, on the hammer on the nail head. <laughs> uh, however, you say that phrase, really, yeah, hit the nail on the head with that. You, no matter what is, uh, if you feel deeply inspired, if you, I, I feel like my book was born from my soul, and I feel like when you really have something really important to share, and I feel like some everybody has that message that can be born from the soul. And uh, I feel like mine certainly was, I, I found that place. And, you know, you know, when you get diagnosed with a big C, you don't know how much, you know, you, you never know how much time you have left or, or what it is. And, uh, you know, luckily I'm in a position now where things are stable and looking in a really positive direction with that. Uh, but, uh, my invitation for anybody looking to launch a book is find that soul burning place and, do it no matter what, even if circumstances present itself like, hey, you've got a major medical diagnosis. Mm. Thank you for sharing that. And I'm so glad to hear how well you're doing. And you. that is such, absolutely, absolutely celebrate that. And that is such an important message that no matter what, you honor that soul calling and purpose and you bring that message forward, that it is so needed in the world. And I think that's a a good reminder, too, that we never quite know how much time we have, which makes now even more important and timely (laughs) that we (laughs) make those choices, right? That over the time we know we have to bring forward. Um, So thank you so much. I appreciate you sharing. We are going to our first commercial break. And as we do that, listeners, I want you to think about some of what Clean has shared and see how it's touching your heart, your spirit. How's it resonating with you? And we will continue our conversation in just two minutes. Announcing a powerful new TV channel featuring programs designed to enhance and transform your life. Make powerful connections one program at a time. And by doing so, we can bring transformation to the world. Tune in each week to Empowered Connections TV as we add new programs to help you make empowered connections of your own. Visit EmpoweredConnectionsTV.com. That's EmpoweredConnectionsTV.com. And make the most of an incredible life transformation. 
Rebecca Hall Greider's Speaker Talent Search is looking for speakers wanting to get on more stages. With just one audition, you could open the doors to hundreds of speaking opportunities, reach more people, and expand your impact. Finalists get to audition live in front of leaders looking to fill all kinds of speaking opportunities. Apply now at SpeakerTalentSearch.com. That's SpeakerTalentSearch.com. We look forward to hearing your message. Welcome back, everyone. I hope you enjoyed those two minutes, that opportunity to really sink into the message and what is touching your heart, what's touching your spirit, what is inspiring you. What are you feeling bubble up as you listen to some of what's being shared? And we talked a little bit in the opening segment about Clayne and his journey and um, dealing with a, a diagnosis with the big C and his choices to still bring the book forward and trust the process and launch and share it into the world. And now I thought it would be great for us to talk a little bit about what this book is <laughs> that we're talking about. Mm-hmm. So I'd, I'd love for you, Clean, if you could share the title of your book, a little bit about it and what you're hoping it does in the world. Yeah, absolutely. So my book, it's uh, titled Echoes of Resounding Love, A True Story of a Polygamous Kid's Journey to Spiritual Awakening. Mm -hmm. Uh, The the book was inspired from a profound uh, spiritual awakening where I'm having this interaction with the divine, and I was invited to, like, you know, share this this message with the world. And, and And a big part of that message for me was I was bathing in this most incredible love when I had this awakening. And uh, the message was clear to me. It's like the purpose of you being born was to uh, touch the hearts of every man, woman, and child that you meet. And uh, and the and in this moment, the divine was like, "And if you'll do that, there I'll see your face." And uh, I was invited. I was invited to look to the rock of integrity, but to mm-hmm. fully shine this love. Look to the rock of integrity. And so, part of that rock of integrity was to write my story and publish my book. Mm. That was a that was an important piece of that. And so uh so I trusted in that message. Mm-hmm. And uh, so part of me releasing the book no matter what, no matter what obstacle that I was faced with, uh was honoring standing in the integrity and the integrity in that moment was I made an agreement that yeah, I'll I'll share my story. I feel like it can touch people's lives. Uh, what I hope, what I hope it will do, is I, in the world, is no matter what people, someone's background is, whether it's a religious background or an atheist background or non-religious or just whatever it is, my my hope is to show that the most powerful influence, uh, most creative power in the world in in existence, is what I call the echoes of resounding love love that's so powerful that it echoes in the hearts of everyone that it touches. Mm. Beautiful. Thank you for sharing. And I love that, that conviction that you made that agreement. You said, yes, I will tell my story. I will bring it forward. And you followed that all the way through, no matter what obstacles or or challenges came up, that you had that trust, you had that faith, you had that, I'm going to see this all the way through and bring it forward and launched it. It became an international bestseller, hitting U.S., U.K., Canada, within the first 24, 48 hours, 29 bestselling categories. And I love that. When I see that, that means that it was pulled forward, in a sense, and received very quickly um, in so many different places in the world. And that's just the beginning ripples of it with the launch. Mm -hmm. And I'm curious, as you did that, and I know that was right before your trip, there were many things <laughs> pulling at you, <laughs> and you still yeah. were able to be present in it. What was that like for you? Were there any surprises along the way, things that you look back on and just still surprise <laughs> you or touch you? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, there were the nitty-gritty details that was surprising. Uh, mm-hmm. <laughs> like, you, this book was self-published. And so here I was getting ready, and I had a professional reviewer, and she was like, hey, where's your copyright page? And I'm like, oh, yeah, like, what do you mean? It's <laughs> like, you need a copyright page in your manuscript. You're going to publish out the world. And so she directed me where I needed to go get the ESPN numbers and the, lib- uh, 
the Library of Congress number. And these are small little details that you don't think of when you are publishing a book. So, mm-hmm. and I would say to somebody, don't worry about the detail in, until the end. But I will say it was it's there. It's important. Uh, the most important thing is to get that book done. Uh, but yeah, that was surprising. Uh, the other element that was super surprising is uh, you were spot on, Rebecca, when you said it's going to feel like your birthday when you release a book, and it did. <laughs> it felt like I was, you know, it was a it was a type of spotlight that I never experienced before. Mm. Uh, like, yeah, that like the collective energy of just like, oh wow, I just burst something really big into the world. So that was really surprising. I I never imagined what it was going to feel like to finally release a book, and it was mm-hmm. quite a feeling that I really, a euphoric feeling I really cannot fully put words to. Mm. I, I love that. Um, thank you for sharing. And yes, those details, It's I think that's so brilliant. You had somebody take a look at things before you released it in the world so you could check those important boxes <laughs> and, and had, <laughs> had room and space to do that and and still, you know, chose to keep keep moving forward and birth your book into the world, you know, bring that forward and to have it received and you received in that way and celebrated is really special. And that is, that's the closest way I know how to describe it to people. It's like, it's your birthday. <laughs> And you're being celebrated and acknowledged and people are reaching out to you wanting to to be part of it and wanting to um, cheer you on. And they're so excited for the book and bringing this forward. And as it's rippled out into the world, is there anyone or any comment that just comes to mind that you've heard or received as it's rippled out into the world? Uh I would say the common the common thing from readers that have read the book was, mm-hmm. even though it's my story, it really causes people to really take pause and reflect on their life. Mm. Uh, it shows, yeah, it really shows you areas of your life that uh, most people really don't think of in a way that I present it, and so mm-hmm. I present it in a in a new way that uh, many of my readers have have been like, yeah, it really causes a tremendous amount of reflection, a deeper Mm. reflection. Nice. How powerful that is. Yeah. 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 Thank you. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Um, Thank you for sharing that. And I can't wait as it continues to ripple out and um, be brought forward to see all the hearts and lives touched. And I know that recently you were quoted in major media as well as again, this is rippling out into the world. I didn't know if you had anything you wanted to share about that. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's kind of phenomenal to, to, to see it go going out there. It's, it's still kind of a surreal type of a type of experience. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. uh, to me, it, it has its own divine path, its own divine timing and, uh, I'll do everything I can to talk about it, share about it, and uh, and then it's uh, in many respects it's out of my hands now. And so, uh, my invitation is: be, read the book. If some if someone hasn't read the book, read the book. Allow it to touch you, and then you touch other people's lives by sharing it. And so, I would invite people to share that love, share the book, mm-hmm. and see that see what ripples can happen happen in your life. I love that. And that's a very heart by heart, life by life kind of ripple, um, which is which is so mm-hmm. beautiful and powerful. We are getting ready to go to our next commercial break. And listeners, when we come back, we're going to let you know where you can find <laughs> Clean's beautiful book so that you're not wondering. And uh, we've got a couple more powerful tips we're going to share. So we'll look forward to continuing our conversation in just two minutes. Announcing a powerful new TV channel featuring programs designed to enhance and transform your life. Make powerful connections one program at a time. And by doing so, we can bring transformation to the world. Tune in each week to Empowered Connections TV as we add new programs to help you make empowered connections of your own. Visit EmpoweredConnectionsTV.com. That's EmpoweredConnectionsTV.com. And make the most of an incredible life transformation. Rebecca Hall Greider's Speaker Talent Search is looking for speakers wanting to get on more stages. With just one audition, you could open the doors to hundreds of speaking opportunities, reach more people, and expand your impact. 
Finalists get to audition live in front of leaders looking to fill all kinds of speaking opportunities. Apply now at SpeakerTalentSearch.com. That's SpeakerTalentSearch.com. We look forward to hearing your message. Welcome back, everyone. I hope you enjoyed those two minutes, that opportunity to just take in all the beautiful insight and ideas and suggestions and discoveries that Clean had on his journey and has shared with us and the importance of really bringing your soul message forward, no matter what. If you've said yes to bringing your message forward, bring it forward. Follow that all the way through. It's needed in the world. That's part of why you've been asked to bring it forward. So that's something that just struck me so powerfully as I reflect back on the conversation we've had today. And then I promised as we were going to break that we would let you know where you could find this amazing book that we've been telling you about. I didn't want to leave that as a mystery. So, Clayne, can you share your full title, where we can get your book if we don't have it already, and what is the best way for those who want to connect with you and go deeper? Yeah, absolutely. So the best way to get the book is on Amazon.com. It says Echoes of Resounding Love. Just type that in, and it'll pop right it up. If there's other platforms that people like to purchase from, like Walmart, Target, Barnes & Noble, Books A Million, like pretty much almost every bookstore you can think of, is it's available uh, if that's your preferred platform. Uh, the easiest one, I would say, like I said, is Amazon.com. Uh, Where people can connect with me further uh, they could visit my website, which is VasperLife.com. Vasper is V-A-S-P-E-R, and then Life, L-I-F-E, dot com. You can check out some of my uh, library of videos, some of the other details that I go into even more deeper on a spiritual side, and also my mentorship. Uh, right now I'm putting together a, a 90-day total life transformation mentorship uh, that uh, is launching January 7th. That people, I'm beginning the enrollment of right now. Uh, that if people wanted to check that out, they certainly can. Wonderful. Thank you so much for sharing and letting us know all the different places we can find your, your powerful book. I appreciate that, as well as how we can connect and go deeper. And uh, congratulations on your program coming forward, that mentoring opportunity for everyone. Um, very timely as we look at you. starting, you know, absolutely, as we're entering the holiday season and looking at how we're going to start the new year, hopefully powerfully and purposely, this will be a wonderful <laughs> exactly. opportunity. Yeah, yeah, for people to do that. So that's great. And I just thought as we reflect back on our conversation, there were a couple of things I wanted to touch on from a just a listener perspective and, and those particularly those who are looking at bringing their messages forward. What about the cover? I, I feel like that's part of the container of the book. Any thoughts you have around the cover? And I'd love for you to describe yours and then any tips or suggestions you might give our listeners around that. Oh, can I just talk about the cover and mm-hmm. how I chose the cover and all that? Yes. Yeah. It's very powerful. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Thank you. So the cover, you'll see down at the bottom a rock that's naturally shaped like a heart. Uh, throughout mm-hmm. my life, I have found rocks that have been naturally shaped by, like hearts. I call the, so heart rocks is what I call them. Uh, and it's been an important piece to my story, and I share that in, I share that in my book. And uh, one of the key messages when I'm having my awakening is the divine is saying, follow the, the heart rocks and they will lead you there. And like, and ultimately, like, we lead me where? And it's like to the great echoes of resounding love. Uh, the, the cover where it kind of shows a little bit dark on the top, but then the bright bursting out is kind of showing the awakening, mm-hmm. uh, showing that the, the light just bursting in the darkness. Uh, so mm-hmm. I've, I've, um, many people I've shared it with have said that it has a very intriguing, uh, look and appeal to it. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, to me, that cover represents my story along with Awakening. Beautiful. 
Thank you for sharing. I appreciate that. And I think it's so important for those listeners out there that are being called to bring your book forward to really think about your cover and your design and what is it representing? What is it saying to you and about you and to those who are thinking about reading your book? Does it have an element of intrigue? Does it pull people in? Does it make them want to know more? And is it in alignment with your message? It's so important that all those elements come together. And I feel like with your book, they they came together really powerfully. So I would just love as we reflect back on our conversation today, is there anything on your heart, on your spirit that you would like to let our listeners know, whether it's about what you have in your book, or it's about your next projects coming up, or <laughs> um, something that on the journey you just feel like would empower our listeners? Yeah, uh, it would be. It would be the word. It would be trust. Mm. Uh, the mo- the most powerful thing towards creation, whether you're creating a book, a, uh, completing a project, or whatnot. You really have to step boldly and powerfully in the realm of trust. Uh, and so I would say the only, the only reason my book is published right now is because I allowed myself to boldly and powerfully just step into trust and just mm. allow and just complete it no matter what. And what I, what I'd like to say with, to the listeners as well is, so, I am a I'm a husband. I'm a father to four beautiful girls. I I own two businesses. You know, I'm a very busy person. I'm, you could say I'm, I, I'm very busy. I have all the excuses not to write a book, mm. and I did. Mm-hmm. And so, and the way I found time with it is, I allowed myself to surrender in trust. And when you allow yourself to do that, you you start seeing the ways in how you can bring it together. And the short and long of it is. I did. <laughs> mm. Beautiful. So, so that would be my invitation. Step into trust. Thank you for sharing. I appreciate that and that you trusted, you leaned in and found a way to bring forward and not focusing on the reasons not to or it's too hard or too busy or someday later. <laughs> but you leaned <laughs> in, trusted followed the heart rocks and um, brought it forward. And, and I was thinking you could even throw into that mix, the health diagnosis and trip, like all of those things are great oh, reasons yeah. yep. not to, or to wait or, and, and they became the reasons too. And you kept stepping mm-hmm. forward even more. Um, and I, I just, I think that's so powerful and an important reminder for all of us to look for the reasons to not the reasons not to, <laughs> And trust Mm -hmm. the reasons, too. Well, thank you so much for joining us today. I really appreciate it, your insights. Um, Everyone can, again, go to Amazon.com to find your book, as well as, can you give your website one more time? Yeah, VasperLife.com, so V-A-S-T-E-R, and then Life, Mm -hmm. L-I-F-E, dot com. Perfect. So um, make sure to check out VasperLife.com and get to know Clean more. I know that you will be inspired and encouraged and absolutely check out his powerful book. (laughs) And then I wanted to also give a couple of additional resources for those of you looking to bring your message forward. So one of them, if you're called to speak your message, it's called the SpeakerTalentSearch.com speakertalentsearch.com. You'll see all the details, but as part of our give back of helping speakers, messengers get on more stages, reach outside of their current circles to impact more people around the world. So I encourage you to check that out. And then the second, for those of you who are in the process of looking to bring your book forward and maybe you're wanting to know what's the next step with where you're at or um, how does it work? What is a launch? All of those frequently asked question kind of things that you can wonder along the journey. We have a great resource for you as well. It's called the Emerging Author Series. That's plural.com. You can go to Emerging Author Series 
dot com and you'll see a selection of different ebooks. They're about a chapter in length that can address as many of those items and questions as you want to learn about. There's nine different books you can choose from, little chapters, and you can choose the ones that support you on your journey. And I hope that they empower you, encourage you, help you find those next steps to bring your message and your book forward. Because if you're feeling that pull, you're feeling that call, it's because the world needs what you have to share, not someday, but today. So keep writing, keep taking those steps forward, and we'll look forward to talking to you next week. Thank you for tuning in to The Author's Journey. Please join Rebecca Hall Greider for another edition of The Author's Journey podcast every Monday on the Voice America Variety Channel. And until we talk again, use some of the tips and inspiration from today's show to guide you as you lean in to bringing your message forward. 